Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life. This is episode 13. Last time we started up the reactor for the Lambda Complex so that we could power up their teleport device, which has now transported us to the alien border world, Zen, from whence all the aliens have been teleporting in. Now, apparently there's an entity here holding the portal open, which is why the satellite rocket we launched did not actually stop the portal, so we have to find whatever's causing the portal to stay open and kill it. So, Zen has lower gravity than Earth. Lower, but if you, for example, if I jump down there, I will still die of fall damage, so... We need to use our long jump module to get across from island to island. I did not long jump correctly there. <laughs> oh, this is the autosave, isn't it? Yeah, I jumped across after I finished the episode, and then it autosaved because I was trying to remember how to do the jump. So you have to crouch for about a second and then jump like this. Alright, well, that was actually a long jump, but I fucked it up. Okay, well, all you missed is I jumped from there to here. Though, actually, there is something to see on that second island. So I'll just save again so it'll update to the most recent save. So yeah, we have to do that. Perfect jump. Here we've got a dead HEV suit scientist. Because I guess the Lambda Complex had a lot more HEV suits than our Anomalous Materials Complex. Am I actually hitting him? So, a lot of people don't like this part of the game because there's a lot of first-person platforming like this. So... They say it is the worst part of the game and you might as well just stop playing it here. But I really don't think it's as bad as they make it out to be. Like, first-person platforming is not that hard just because you can't see your feet. Alright, so we gotta make our way down from here, which means we gotta get across these. One thing I'm not sure about is, like, that Vortigaunt and that Hound Eye just teleported in. But since they're from here, where are they teleporting in from? Do you just kind of randomly teleport around when you're here? Okay, I gotta time this just right. I don't really like how the long jump module works, though. It's really awkward to do, like, that crouch and then jump. Alright, now we gotta get down to that one. Basically, we're just trying to avoid fall damage at this point. By jumping across these things. It took a little bit there. Like, I could just drop straight down from here, but then I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. And that was not... That was not a long jump. Alright, it's gonna take me a moment to <laughs> remember how to do this jump properly. And start doing it instinctively. Ooh, that was a real close one. <laughs> just barely made it to the edge. I think we are here we can just crouch and drop to avoid damage. Okay. And then I guess we're just going on to the main platform. And then we gotta get under it. Because there's actually a ledge down there. Now what are the odds I can stand on this spike? Alright. See, so here we got like an actual kind of livable looking surface with weird glowing plants. I mean, we did see Zen at the start of the game when we got teleported here for a second. Oh, okay. Those are zap flowers. <laughs> Don't get near those. But the creatures here have to be pretty hardy to survive, considering how hostile this environment is. One thing I'm not sure about is if there's supposed to be, like, a breathable atmosphere in Zen. We also have these healing pools. 
Where you can just stand in them and they will somehow heal you through your suit. Dead scientist. I'm not sure what causes these flowers to start trying to zap you. I think we need to go this way. Nope. I was starting to see through the rock for a second there. I don't know where to go. Yeah, see, like, this one's not zapping me. This is the right way to go. Yeah, these pustule looking things that kind of look like head crabs, but I don't think they're related at all. A whole new world. I mean, I do like how weird Zen is. Like, it definitely feels like not just, you know, Earth, but it is very much an alien world. release these crystals so that they can find their positions. Which creates a natural teleporter, so I guess there are just teleporters around. Okay, the Gonarch's lair. The Gonad Monarch. <laughs> this is apparently the origin of the head crabs. This is the head crab mother that creates them. Though it's never made clear if there is more than one of these. But it drops these, like, tiny little unformed head grabs. Oop. Gotta watch out for those, too. As a boss, it's actually pretty easy. Doesn't have a lot of attacks. Say that, but I don't actually have a lot of health left. Can't tell where these tiny crabs are. <laughs> oh, I tried to do a jump there, but I got head crabbed in midair. I don't know why these are so hard to hit as well. They're just like snarks. go. Alright. The Gonark has run off, so let's follow it with our 50, oh no, 37 health. We're doing even worse now. Thankfully, there is a steady supply of dead scientists in Zen to obtain supplies from. Actually, don't want to be in this tunnel. Yeah, so it does hit pretty hard if it actually hits you. Uh oh. <laughs> I fell through the central web.
Though the Gonar can run across that without falling through. Oh, there's some health here. So let's just hang out in this pool. Have a bit of a, a relaxation period. Why didn't we bring some of this stuff back to Earth? Instead of just bringing back hostile fauna. It is very slow, though. Kind of wish that it would, like, heal you faster if you stood in it for a while, but I guess you could kind of exploit that if you were being shot at. I still see it out there. There's a bounce pad. Oh. Okay, there's nothing in here. This is just a drop down. <laughs> Alright, let's get back out there and finish this thing off. Uh, just forget that happened. Hold on, I'm having a little trouble with the bounce back. <laughs> They're a little awkward, you have to jump. Right when you get down here. Because otherwise I have no air control right now, I'm just basically bobbing in place. God damn it. Got it. Ooze my way out of here, and then not immediately get hit by the going arc. Don't give up. <laughs> God damn it. Stupid pit. I'm just letting those headcrabs hit me now because I don't want to keep doing that. So I'm just going to save right here in the danger zone. I mean, I said this thing works just like the one in Half-Life 2, but really, the one in Half-Life 2 is a lot more responsive. It's a lot easier to miss with the Half-Life 1 rocket launcher. I gotta kill this thing. Or they're just gonna keep following me. Okay. Continue to pursue the Gonar. Great. I didn't crouch before I dropped there, so that's just free damage. These things just have a bunch of different ammo types in them. Else will probably work on it. Satchel charge. If I can avoid blowing myself up with it. Alright. 
It's so dead that it exploded. Oh my fucking god. There's like 10 of these things in this room now. We fell into the teleport juice. Alright, we got some of the alien ships here. Which are also dropping troops in. Oh god. I fell again. Oh good. We get to do this again because it didn't auto-save at all. Speed this up by just, you know, blasting with all my grenades. Alright. Yes, I did just use the satchel charge to kill these little tiny head crabs, and they're still coming. I didn't even kill most of them. This is what I wanted to do, so I guess good that we got an opportunity to walk back here and heal. The tentacles are taking care of the head crabs. I don't think there's anything that these tentacles are not hostile to. Maybe they function by just slapping anything that comes near them to death and then absorbing it through their roots. Okay, and we are good to go. Into the teleport pool. First thing, we have to not be out in the open where the friggin' Vortigons can blast me. Because there's not a lot of cover here, and they're just teleporting more in. While also trying to shoot me with their little beams. Oh, alien mask over there. Wow, that one just darted down through the crevice. I like that these Vortigons can't figure out how to get up here, so they're just kind of running around. Still one more. What's that? Yeah, there's still one more of these guys darting around. Mm, sneak it up on me. What's that over there? Is that an alien grunt? No, nope, that's ammo. Alright, uh, I'm not sure if I can make that jump, or if I have to jump on top of one of these ships to get up there. This hill's kind of fucking up my jump, though. It's like eating all my momentum.
Quarter gun, please. Just stay still so I can fucking shoot you. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if I can get over there or if I have to jump on top of a ship. That seems a little high for me. Hold on. Okay, I thought I saw a little ledge I could drop to, but no. Oh, okay. I did not remember they spit you back out. Yeah, that hurt. Try to hit a moving target with a slow projectile while rotating. I can't even get this friggin' stuff now without dying. Or I can, and it didn't do any damage at all. Alright, take me home, ship. Please don't fly down into that small gap. Well, this one's really slow. Uh, also, please don't explode like that one did. Okay, so yes, the jumping does suck <laughs> in Zen. That a lot of the times you do just have to kind of guess if you can jump to something. But, I don't think it makes it a bad level. I'm curious to see if there is still platforming in the Black Mesa version, or if they decided that was how they would fix it, is by removing that entirely. This voice in our head is getting more aggressive every time we teleport. It's not letting me reload again. Gotta switch weapons first. Remember these tentacles? They are native here after all. Okay, so we've landed on a pretty large chunk of land this time. And that means we should probably wrap up in a moment. Because we're not too far from the end. Next episode will presumably be the last episode. What is that sound? Alright, just ignore the fact that we have two health now. I can get in that hole. I think there's health in there, but it's kind of an awkward jump to make because of these two slopes. Oh, well, I almost made it. Yeah, so I only have 20 health to begin with, <laughs> so... Oh my god. This is like the only patch where I can do the crouch jump where it works. Okay. Let's go into this hole where there was meat pouring out. That's always a good idea. But it is a healing fountain. We even got a barnacle in here just enjoying the juice. So, presumably, this is, like, one of the ways the barnacle naturally would get food, is it would just kind of plant itself over one of these, and any of the creatures that came over here would get pulled up. Definitely not very exciting to have to stand in here, but yeah, we're gonna wrap up the episode before we go back out there, because I think that's another big-ass fight. A lot of big-ass fights between us and the end of the game now, but like I said, 
It shouldn't be too far off from this point. So, until next time, thank you for joining me for more of Half-Life as we penetrated the border world of Zen. And next time, we'll have our conclusion. But until then, you folks all take care. <laughs>